Hey everyone, welcome. Today we are going to create a simple script that will control the drag of our UI elements. We can drag and basically swap different UI elements. So I have set up a simple scene in which I have canvas. Its render mode is set to screen space camera and the main camera is the render camera. And I have a simple prefab with which is just an image with a text component. And first of all, let's create a script to generate five or however many prefabs you want to. So let's call this prefab generator. Open up the script. Once the script is open, we are going to create a serialized field called private game object prefab and in the awake method we are going to say generate prefabs and we want five prefabs and let's create a private void generate prefabs function which takes a parameter number and we are going to say for integer i is less than num and we are going to say game game object game object is equal to instantiate the prefab at transform dot position with quaternion dot identity and set the parent to the transform we are going to set the local scale to one We are going to set the name of the game object to be the current index plus one and then we are going to get the object that get component in children the text mesh pro and we are going to say that this text is equal to the current index plus one and I think that's all we need. Let's save the script. Go to Unity. And we are going to attach the script to our panel. We are going to attach our prefab as well. And let's hit the play button. So this should generate five prefabs. Okay, so we have five prefabs and the reason they are laid out horizontally is because I have a horizontal layout group on my panel. So let's create the script that will handle the drag. So let's create a script that's called item drag script. And let's open it up. Why do I have two Visual Studios on? Let's close this. This is weird. Okay. So if once the script is open, we need to implement I end drag handler, I begin drag handler, and I drag handler. And let's implement this interface, this one as well, and this one as well. And here we are going to simply create a public. Uh, let's not create this. Instead, let's do. Uh, private rec transform rec transform and in the start function we are going to set this to the basically we are going to get the rec transform of the current object and on begin drag let's not do anything for now and on drag we are going to say rec transform dot anchored position equals to event data dot delta this basically means that we will calculate the distance the current mouse uh, the mouse has moved since the last screen and add it to the anchored position of our ui element so if we save our script go back to unity and let's attach our script to the image item drag and let's hit the play button. So 
now i should be able to drag any item and place it anywhere i want to now i want to basically swap these items when they like overlap each other for that purpose let's create a new script and let's call it Mm, let's call it something like 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 what should we call it let's call it item swapper open up the script and inside the script what we need is a CLI field a private list of item drag and this should be item Let's call it items and in on the on start we are going to populate the items and let's get a private void populate items populate the items and we are going to say that for each item in transform items dot add item dot game object okay oh let's not use for each let's use simple for loop I never understand the for each loop. So this is going to be transform dot child count and items dot add transform dot get child i dot get component the item drag component and this will populate our items list and now we need to know which item we are dragging so for that let's create a simple script sorry a simple function this should be a public void set current item being dragged And this will take in a rect transform for the current item being dragged. And let's create a serialized field private rect transform current item being dragged. So we are going to say this dot current item being dragged. Should be the item that I pass into this function and the item drag. Let's create a simple serialized field private item swapper swapper and the start function will say item swapper swapper is equal to get component in parent and on begin drag we'll say Swapper dot set current item being drag item being dragged to this rec transform and let's save and test. So let's attach our item swapper script to the panel and let's hit the play button. So our item should be five. And if I drag this, it should be one. If I drag it again, it should be two. And when I leave the drag, it should be null. So let's create a new function public void. Mm. Let's call this function. We set the item being drag and let's just call it uh, nullify current item being dragged and let's simply say current item being dragged is equal to null and we'll call this function 
on and drag dot nullify the current item being dragged okay this will set it to null now what we need to do is we need to see that private void swap current item being dragged so we want to check the list of items so let's say that for each variable item in items if item the item is basically equal to the current item being dragged then we want to continue or return use whatever you want to and then we'll say that rect transform dot utility dot screen point to local point in rectangle because our ui is in screen space and we want to convert it to the local space so we use this and this takes in the current item item dot get component rect transform if the current item and let's get the mouse position for the screen point put dot mouse position and the camera dot main and the final one is out factor to local point okay so this function basically means that if anything enters the rect transform of this object then we would get the point basically in which they are overlapping so we can say here that if my where is it the item oh sorry the current item being dragged dot rect dot contains this local point then we want to swap the items and how we can do that is really simple we can simply say hmm, current item being dragged dot transform dot set sibling index as the item dot get dot transform dot get sibling index and here we'll say the item to swap with let's create another one here so it's a bit clearer so this is going to be item to swap with and here we'll say that item to swap with is equal to the item dot transform rocket component rec transform okay and we'll say that get the sibling index set it to this one and finally we are going to say that item to swap with equals to null and here we'll just say return let's save this and let's call this in the update function this should be if current item being dragged is not equal to null if current item not equal to null then basically you will try to swap the items okay let's test it out and see if it works so we have this and if i click this if i click this it's zero
there is some issue and I think it has to do with and the issue is basically we should check if the item to swap it is equal to null then return and over here we should not return let's save and test it again and now i should be able to swap items as i move and they intersect with each other so this was a simple tutorial on how to swap items you can play around with these and basically add animations to them if you want to i hope you guys enjoyed this video see you next time